The state of Arizona was still on a generalized stay at home order this morning, but that may not stop a handful of businesses from sticking to their plans today of reopening. Joining us now, Arizona Republican Congresswoman Debbie Lesko. Congresswoman, it's good to see you this morning. Before we get to what's going on in your state, we are interested in your reaction to the major developments in the case against Michael Flynn. What's your response to what some say is an FBI setup? Well, this is a continuation of a disturbing information about how basically I think they were trying to set up the president of the United States. And uh, as more and more information comes out, it's more and more clear that there were bad actors in the FBI uh, and, and elsewhere that were trying to take out the president. And uh, we need to clean it up. We really need to look at uh, the FISA court reforms, because uh, a lot of things were done wrong there and other things. And I'm glad that Attorney General Barr is in there right now because he's taking this seriously and I applaud him. Also this, earlier this week, uh, the governor there in your state, it's, uh, switching gears here to Governor Ducey, has extended what had already been a month-long shutdown of non-essential services, but some small businesses still vowed to reopen um, Congresswoman, are you seeing businesses violating so far the governor's orders at all? Well, I haven't seen it so far, but it's er fairly early in the morning here in Arizona. And today is like the first day uh, that originally the lockdown was supposed to uh, end. Now, he did open up, Governor Ducey did open up for retail a bit next week. And he said he hopes that restaurants can start opening up for dine-in on May 12th. I had wished, quite frankly, there was a little bit more detailed plan that he had put out, although he said that he's going to do that in the coming days. Um, there's a, I, I have a neighbor that just texted me, uh, and he's like, who do I complain to about this, this lockdown and the continuation? So I'm going to give him a, a number to the governor's office. I mean, People are people. They're just like us. They're struggling. We, the number one call that we get to our office by far is small business owners that can't make it. They're afraid their business is going to close. And that's why we tried to help them in Congress with the different loan programs and grant programs. But there's only so much government can do. It's time to reopen the society. People are getting antsy. They want to see their families. They want to go to church. Yeah. You know, these, these type of things. They want to Get back to work. Congresswoman, I was asking you about this business opening. I, I forgot about the time difference. Uh, we're in completely different time zones there, so clearly some are not going to open up just yet. But another thing that will open up, elective surgeries resuming today. Talk about that, and, and that's a positive sign that the state's moving in the right direction as far as opening up. Yeah, thank goodness elective surgeries are, are coming back open because uh, on two sides. From the patient's point of view, a lot of patients were in pain. There was a, a news uh, program last night about a woman who needs cancer treatment and she wasn't able to get it. I mean, to me, that's not elective. That's vital. But they deemed it to be elective. And so now she's finally beginning to get that. And there's other things. People having hernias, the dealing in pain for all of these weeks. This is important for patients. But also, so it's important for the doctors, the health providers, and the hospitals. I've been on calls with the hospitals, health care providers. Here in Arizona, there's bed capacity. The emergency room volume is way down. Uh, hospitals and health care providers make a lot of their money off of elective surgeries. And quite frankly, they're hurting. They, they said, open back up. And so I'm glad the governor did it. Yeah, it seems like the health care system is not overwhelmed in Arizona, which is some good news. Uh, meantime, President Trump set to visit Arizona next week. He's expected to meet with a company producing N95 masks. Congresswoman, are you planning to meet up with the president? Gosh, I sure hope so. I've been reaching out to the White House uh, and uh, and trying to do it. I said, I'll take a, a test. I'll do whatever I have to do because it, I'm so happy that he's coming to Arizona and he's visiting a Honeywell manufacturing plant. Honeywell has a huge presence in Arizona and they really stepped up to the plate to help in this crisis to manufacture more N95 masks. And I'm so glad that President Trump is coming here to Arizona because Arizonans love President Trump and we love what he's doing. Yeah, he seems excited to get there. Uh, that's Arizona Republican Congresswoman Debbie Lesko. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too.
You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.